Hello everyone, this is Shin Godzilla 2007, and today we are going to be talking about the mainly the trailer for Godzilla City on the Edge of Battle. And you may already know, you probably do already know, this is a spoiler alert. I'm giving you a chance right now to stop the video and go to something else if you have not already watched the trailer. So, yeah. So, first thing, I think we should talk about what we already know. So, very end of the last movie, um, Godzilla Phileas dies, is explodes, and then Godzilla Earth comes out of the ground. He destroys the ships as they are trying to leave Earth, and now the humans are stranded on Earth, or at least that's what I got out of the last one. Okay, now what we know this time. So, Mechagodzilla will definitely, or most likely, or probably will, be in Godzilla City on the Edge of Battle. And so Mechagodzilla, he's made out of some material. I'm not sure what the material is called, but it either, because in the trailer they put this spear or something on a piece of that material, I think. And it looks like it enhances the weapon or reinforces the weapon. And I don't know if that... Mm. See, the thing about that is, does that make him... I guess that's why they think he can defeat Godzilla. Because he's made out of that material and he is strong because of that. But um, hopefully we'll learn more about that material later. Now the next thing about this Godzilla is something with his atomic breath. So in the trailer there's this scene where the atomic breath, it kind of almost looks like the way Shin Godzilla's does, except when it does it, it's not necessarily coming out of, like, it's not coming out of Godzilla, really. Well, I mean it is, but it's not coming out of his dorsal spines or dorsal spikes, whatever they're called, like they do in Shin Godzilla. These are bouncing off things. I don't know what those are, but I definitely want to find out later. And after this, I'll do a review of the actual movie. So, there is, in the trailer, there is also something someone called Scarlet Godzilla, someone else. And what it looks like to me is kind of a burning Godzilla, but as the Monster Planet Godzilla. Not really Monster Planet Godzilla, as Godzilla Earth. It just, it may be something similar to that, like where. Um, I don't know if it'd necessarily be radioactivity, but something has caused some something to occur in his heart, which is the reactor of Godzilla, as they explain as they explain in Godzilla vs. Destroya, which is basically a reactor, and it's causing him to heat up, and eventually he will explode or melt down. And I don't know if it's going to be the case with that on this Godzilla, but it kind of looks like it. And now, here's some things with some figures. So first thing will be the SH Monster Arts Monster Planet Godzilla. I don't have this figure. I would like to get it. I might get it when I go to G-Fest. I'll be looking for it anyway at G-Fest in the dealer's room. <clears throat> and it looks amazing. I wish I had more pictures of it, but I, I don't. Because I just got a picture of it. And the next thing is a figure I do have. is the Bandai figure. It's pretty good. The SH Monster Arts obviously looks more realistic. But the Bandai figure is still really good. And another thing, there's also... 
a this is something I don't have. This is the Monster King Bandai figure of the and this one is more of the like I would say the Bandai one would be like Godzilla Phileas because he's smaller and this one would be more of Godzilla Earth because it's huge and I do have the Monster King for Shin Godzilla yeah and there's also an Atomic Breath version of the Monster King and Bandai so that'll also be something I'm looking for so I a lot of people like or the at least the results from the Japan release of Godzilla City on the Edge of Battle are apparently not that great. So I'm not sure what to expect in this. I have some pretty high expectations, but I don't really know what to expect. And also the Mothra twins are one thing. Those two twins, are they the Mothra twins? And are the and the humans on Earth, I'm pretty sure, are probably humans that survived. We prob we do know that. The Mothra twins are humans that survived. From when the other ones left Earth after the Godzilla attack. Also the other kaiju. And the release date, um all Pretty much all sources are saying that the release date is going to be this week. Yes, this week on Netflix for the U.S. So that is pretty much all of the news we have for this video. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.